Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. This is Mark with Texas Fish. Hey, I'm out here at the Plexi River today. It's a gorgeous day, it's in the 70s. Uh, kind of the well, late March. Boy, it's just a beautiful day out, 70 degrees, full sun, can't beat it. So I'm gonna come out here and see if I can find some fish. See, there's some fish out here, I don't know what they are. Those might be red horses, some young red horses. I don't have a way to catch them right here. Maybe I'll get a cast net before I leave. See what I can do. I'm not sure. Oh, a darter. Check it out. There's a little darter right there. Look at my shadow. Right here he is. There's a little darter right at the end of my finger. Let's see if we can catch him. Oh, he took off. That way. It's too deep. That's the problem. When it's so deep, your net drags. There's just too much drag. You can't pull it through the water fast enough. That was way cool. I have not seen a darter out like that. Just kind of cruising through. So that was way cool. I've got to catch me a darter today. That was a nice, pretty colored up male. Probably an orange throat darter. I think they're a different subspecies now or something. Like a plains uh, orange throat. I can't remember. I'll have to look it up and let you know. There's another little darter. He's way out there. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I don't know if I can. Oh, there's a bunch of darters in here. So there might be a bunch. Oh, there's a bunch more fish. Let's see what we got. Let's go down here. I'm going to catch some darters. I have to. My darters got old and passed away. Man, there's a bunch of them. Usually they go into these rocks. Let's see if I can. Scare one out of the rocks into my net. That'd be really fortunate and lucky. Let's see what we got. Oh, I got something in here. Oh, yeah, I got several darters. Something pinched me. The hook bit me. Aha. Hogramite. That's what pinched me. See the hogramite? Yeah. Pinched me through my, my net. He can go back. But these are what I want. Check this out. Ah, oh, how cool absolute beautiful check them out oh, I love darters that's an excellent example this this little creek is loaded with darters look at that Aren't they cool just neat neat fish so I'm gonna use them for education Let's see what else we have not much rocks all right man we're starting off good and i'm seeing my horse tail too we'll make our way down to that we'll harvest some of that before we leave but yeah right now this is just incredible in fact i wonder if i can scare some of these darters into like in my net eh, this net might not be fine enough oh, oh yeah there we go that worked oh they're beautiful holy cow look at some of these oh man guys let's check this out oh that is stunning there's a male color that oh there's two males look at that is that not stunning oh so cool let's get him in the water oh yeah we, oh, oh, oh this one's even prettier holy cow guys holy cow look at that absolutely a beautiful example of a darter wow beautiful beautiful creature i thought there was another there's a female right here see the females look more drab not much color to them that is so cool. Let's try this again. I'm just gonna put my net in here in the rapids and then just kind of come running down through, scaring. I got a, there's another male. 
you know, I'll tell you what, just keep, keep several. I got some big tanks and things I can keep these guys in. So I'm not too worried about overpopulation. And there's so many in here, I couldn't make a dent in this population. Man, I hit the lottery on darters. That is so cool. I had no idea there's this many in here. Nothing that time. Nothing that time either. Water's pretty chilly. I know that. But check out. This is what I came for. This is a neat, neat plant. It's called horsetail. Each one of these segments, so let me show you. So each one of these segments can will start growing uh what do you call it uh, uh roots out of it so there's like a bunch of plants i could turn this into a bunch of plants if i wanted to but i think i'll do is get some longer like a bunch of them like this size and propagate them just a bunch of them you know there's plenty of this stuff here it's all it's everywhere through here so i'm not gonna hurt the population that's the first thing i kind of worry about i don't want to over collect something Yeah, there we go. Got a darter. That's probably a female. Not much color. It's kind of plain. Very, very plain color. A little bit of color in the back. A little bit of blue, but big size like that's probably just a female. We'll let her go. Oh, this water is absolutely beautiful. It is cold. I'll tell you that, man. It is definitely, definitely cold. Let me pull up some of these other rocks. Oh, there's a darter right here. See if you look, look at two darters right here. In fact, let's do this. This could be really cool. Let's get some underwater shots of this. Okay. So let's... That's cool. That was cool. I'm gonna try it again. Hopefully the audio is okay because I had it underwater. Sometimes water would get in the mic and you can barely hear me. It's all like sounds like I'm still underwater. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around here. If I see some more darters, I'm gonna put the camera underwater and see if I can document some really cool behavior. How's that sound? So I'm just looking through these rapids. This is where they were hanging out. There's one I see as Arger. Now that one kind of took off. Let's see if we can find some more. They like this rapids. I'll tell you what, this water's pretty cold. My feet are cold as it can be right now. Let's see what we got. My shadow is not going to help me. Oh, there's a darter. My shadow is going to scare fish. It's not going to help me, probably. Let's see if we can get this one. I think it's just a female, but it's going to be cool. Now I got some video over. There's another one moving around. I'm going to look for a male. If I can shake this camera, some of the water out of it. I'm keep looking around if I see a male take off. I'll chase it down. Gotta admit my feet are going numb. So let's just kind of creep along here. I would love to document some breeding behavior in them. That'd be really cool. Yeah, I'm starting up the water going downstream. It's kind of I mean, I gotta get out of the water a second. Man, my feet are cold. There's lots of small gambusia. There's a cricket frog. Those are really cool. So, there's some gambusia. And lots of them in the water here. There's more right there.
I see some in there. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of darters in here. Let me see if I can pick out a male. Oh, my feet are so cold. But this is just so cool. Oh yeah, look at all the little darters. There's another one, man. I'm picking them out all over the place. Wow. How cool is this? Man, look at all the darters. There's just schools of darters in here. There's one where I just rock. They won't let me get close to these. I'm picking them out of rock. Too far down the stream, I lost it. Oh, well, there's a male. This is difficult. Wish I had my GoPro, I mean, a selfie stick or something with me. That'd be a little easier. Oh man, here comes some fish. There's a, oh, there's a beautiful one. Ooh, ooh. so cool I need a selfie stick I'm just looking at the bottom there's just darters everywhere Try to catch a couple more of them. See so if we can find some really beautiful males again. This is kind of fun. So let me put you back on my chest. But I bet, I bet in here, I bet that's where they're hiding in that, in that all that moss or whatever it is, algae, whatever this stuff is. Well, I could be really wrong. Better I just didn't scare them in my net. Saw bigger fish go upstream. Oh, there's a couple. There's like three. It's not bad. Oh man, there's a big male. That's a big boss male right here. And I gotta get some photos of these. Absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning fish. Wow. So beautiful. Hope I'm getting it in the frame. Alright, let's get it back in some water. Yeah, let's go back underwater. I've only got a couple minutes left of battery, probably. Throw my net over there. I see a bunch of darters hanging out right there. Let's see if we can get close. Underwater. What we're going to do is we'll lay this down and leave it there, see what happens.
well, I hope you saw some cool stuff. Okay, I think that's a log perch, but it doesn't quite look right. I'm going to have to look that one up. Which species of log perch that is, the bigger one I'm talking about. I've never actually kicked one up in the creek before. That's just way cool. Huh. Well, these guys are going back. Except for the log perch, or whatever it is, got to identify what it is. That would be way cool. But man, those things are pretty, aren't they? I just got to figure out for sure what that is. It's definitely a, in the darter species. But I don't think that's a big scale log perch like I've caught before. That looks different. So let's go back and find out. Hmm. Man, how cool is that? Found the whole new species of fish I've never actually caught in a river before, creek. I've not caught log, log perch no matter what uh, in the creeks. I have in the lake. I netted some up, but only a few. So, what a cool day. I think I'm going to head back. It's getting kind of later. That's the stuff I got to do. But I hope you enjoyed. Well, hey guys, that brings the end of my day. Did get some uh, cool horsetail. And hopefully, I can propagate that at the uh, house and my aquarium stuff. Should be kind of cool. Well, thanks for joining me. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Thanks.